Jeopardy live on television. Look at that. Everybody good? All right. Hello, everybody at home. All right. Nice to see you. Happy birthday. That's good. All right. Hey, come on over, everybody. for adventure. So, do you like adventure? Yes? Yeah. yeah. I'll try again. Do you like adventure? Hell yeah. Yes, of course you do. Now, if you look behind you over there, you will see the castle of magical dreams, the design of which is based on all of our princesses and queens. Now, today, we're going to do a bit of magic by... Uh... Just checking you're awake. Now we are going to share these stories, but how are we going to share the stories? Let's find out. In my pocket, I have a whole bunch of cards. Now look, you can see all different colors. Why are they different colors? Because each one of them represents one of our Disney princesses or queens. Now, I need somebody here to choose one. Who would like to help? Would you like to help? Yes, you can say stop. Okay, are you ready? Stop. Ah, good. Now, which princess did you choose? Do you know? Ah, everyone knows this one, of course, because it was the very first Disney princess, Snow White. Now, Snow White, she sees the world in a simple and unguarded way. She expresses beauty and honesty through her presence and demeanor. But we know what happens to Snow White in her story, yes? She falls prey to the evil queen and the poison apple. She takes a bite. She falls asleep and can only be awoken by true love's kiss. Isn't that so sweet? Everybody say, ah. Oh. But Snow White, she didn't have her wits about her that day. But hopefully some of you do because we're going to find out with a game. Do you like games? Yeah. Yes, good. Me too. This is by far one of my favorite games. All you need is one cup and one ball. One cup, one ball, one ball, one cup, like this. And someone to help you, sir. You can stay there, don't worry. Okay. All you need to do is to tell me where is the ball. Okay. On the cup. On top of the cup, of course it is. Actually, I knew you would say that because this is the bottom of the cup. <laughs> this is the top of the cup. It's okay, I tried to trick you. Maybe I'll try and trick you again. Ah. Now is the ball in my pocket or under the cup? Inside the cup. Inside the cup? No, you are wrong because it was in my pocket. I think a lot of people saw me do that, yes? So I might be a bit quicker this time, so watch closely. Look over there! Is the ball in the cup or under my pocket? In the cup? No, because when I said look over there, I put it into my pocket, don't you see? I might do it again like this, I snap my fingers, where does the ball come up? It comes up under the pocket. It's very simple. You see, if I put the ball in my pocket, I snap my fingers, where the ball in my pocket or under the cup? Of course, it's under the cup. We try one more time, if I put the ball in my pocket like this, I snap my fingers, where does the ball come up? It comes up under the cup. It's done! <laughs> okay, I'll do it slowly this time, okay? This is called... Where's the ball? In my pocket or under the cup? Oh! 
Nope, you see, because when I was doing the slow motion, I actually put it back under the jaw. You see, you know the trick, right? I'm not just using one ball. No, I'm using one. I'm using two. I'm using three. I'm using four. I'm using five. I'm using six. Actually, I'm not using any ball at all. Because all I was using was right in front of you. All I was using was... Is this a poisoned apple? Yes. Yeah. It is. Have you seen a poisoned apple before? Why don't you take a bite? No. <laughs> I've never seen a poisoned apple either, but I do know one thing about poisoned apples. Is that sometimes they end up where you least expect them to be. And this is a poisoned apple. Thank you. Who's going to help me choose a story this time? Uh, maybe you. Would you like to help me? All right. We've had a, we've had this one. So are you ready? Yeah. To say stop, I'll go through the cars. Here we go. Stop. Oh my goodness. All right. Who is this one? <laughs> Who? <laughs> I never heard of her. No, I'm only joking. That's right. This is Cinderella. Well. Cinderella never gives up hope. Although she accepts her situation, she dreams of a better world and believes that there's good in everyone. Now, of course, who did she live with? Who did she live with? The wicked stepmother, that's right. And who else? That's right, the evil, ugly sisters. <laughs> now, of course, when the prince announced the ball, was Cinderella allowed to go to the ball? No, that's right. The wicked stepmother said, no, you cannot go to the ball. But who came along to save the day? The fairy godmother. You know what? I think you guys know this story better than me. That's great. So how about you help me tell the story? Now, wait a minute. Let me see what I have. We might need a few things. Oh, lots of things inside here. Let's have a little loop. Oh, da -dee, da -da. I... There's nothing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. There's nothing in sight. What can we do? Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a question for you. Do you remember how Cinderella got to the ball? Do you remember? Yeah. How? In a... In not a carrot. That's a pumpkin. That's right. Now, of course, we turn the pumpkin into what? Carrot? A carrot, yes. It sounds like a carrot, but it's not a carrot. Now look, we're going to turn this into a carriage. Now, I do need the magic word. Can everybody wave their fingers like this? Now, normally the magic word is Molly Molly Home, but today, because of this story, it's Bibbity Bobbity Boo. You remember, yes? Just from the story. It's easy. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Let's pop it just inside like this. All right. So come on, wave your fingers, everybody. I'm gonna say bibbity bobbity boo. Get ready. In one, two, three. Bibbity bobbity boo. And hopefully with a bit of magic. Wait a minute. This is not a pumpkin. It's a carriage. Yeah. Well done. Now we turn it into a carriage, but. In the story, what did Cinderella have on her feet? Yeah, that's right, glass slippers. So we're also going to need one of those. So you know what to do. Everybody, wave those fingers. Here we go. One, two, three. Maybe the bobbity boo indeed. And it looks like you've done it. is coming from nowhere but you my friends you see one little shoe now perhaps it's not going to fit me I'll never be a princess That's okay. now of course you all know the story but one more question what happened at midnight what happened when the bell struck 12 do you remember all oh, the magic disappeared that's right so we put the shoe away. Say goodbye, shoe. And everybody say goodbye, Karaj. And one last time.
time everybody, wave those fingers. Come on, let's try it. Here we go. One, two, three. Biggity, bobbity, boo. And hopefully if I... Nothing. I think you did it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. All the magic disappeared. Thank you very much indeed. Wow, what a story. All right, who would like to help me this time? Who said me? Who said me? You're me? You can't be me, I'm me. I've always been me. Now put your hands down, put your hands down. Now I see Jasmine at the front there. Can you say stop? I'll go through the cards. Are you ready? Here we go. Get ready for it. Now I'll mix them up. Here we go. Are you ready? Stopping here, all right. Who did we stop on? Who is it? Wow, you're really good. Now the rest of you didn't know you were coming here for a test, did you? <laughs> this is, of course, Aurora. From what story? Sleeping Beauty, that's right. Now Aurora dreams of independence and being free to explore life's possibilities. She's elegant, she's kind, and of course she's a bit of a, a bit of a dreamer, right? Now of course, in the story of Sleeping Beauty, Aurora taught us all to believe in our dreams with the help of her beloved fairies, you remember? Well today, my friends, I think we could play a game. You want to play a game? I'll try it again. You want to play a game? Yay! Yes, all right. Well, we're going to play that game by using this. Oh, I like your reaction. I'll try it again. We're going to use this. Now this is the Sword of Truth. And we're going to use the Sword of Truth to find and defeat the evil dragon, Maleficent, so that the Euro dreams can come true too. But how are we going to do that? Let's see what else I have. Ah, yeah. Cards. One of my favorite things. I have three cards here. All we have to do is count them, okay? Can you count with me? All right, this is card number... Wait a minute, I'll try it again. This is card number... Very good. This is card number... And this is card number... Three, okay. Three cards with nothing on. Now look, you can see they're different colors, right? Now I have one other card. What color is this one? Yellow. It's yellow, that's right. What's on the other side? Let's take a look. This is a dragon, that's right. Now this is not any old dragon, this is our evil um, Maleficent. Yes, and we have to find Maleficent. I'm going to mix the dragon up in amongst the empty cards and you have to find this one. Do you think you can do that? It's a really easy game, but because there's not so many of you here today, I'm going to take away one of the cards. I'll take away the purple one. They can stay over there. We'll use these two blank cards and the dragon card. Are you ready to play? Let's go. Into the middle. I'll mix it up. This way you have no idea where the dragon is, right? All right, my friends, let's take a little look. Yes or no? Is the dragon here? No. Is the dragon here? No. Is the dragon here? Yes. You think so? Let's take a little... Wait a minute. It's gone. I, I thought it was... He's not here. Uh, he's not here and... Uh, not here. Where could he be? No way. No, that, that's impossible because if it's... A... Wait a minute. He's jumped to the purple card. How very strange. Well, you know what, maybe we could try again. This time, I'll put the grey card over here. Okay, so this time he's on the purple card. What card? The purple, that's right. We'll try it again. In the middle he goes. Where does he go? Nobody knows. We mix him up. He goes here, he goes there, he goes everywhere. Come on, my friends. We'll play again. Just me and you. Yes or no? Is the dragon here? No. Is the dragon here? No. Is the dragon here? No. Let's take a little... Wait a minute, he's disappeared again. Wait a minute, where is he? Over here? No, that would be in pop. He's jumped to the gray card. Wait a minute. There's something funny going on here. I don't know what it is. I'll try one last time. This time I put the blue one. Ah, oh, you want to check it, it's over. I'll put the blue one over here. So one last time, my friends, come on. Yes or no? Here we go. Wait for it. Hey, little, little, right in the middle. Follow the dragon. We don't know where he could be. So one last time. Is the dragon here? No. Is the dragon here? 
Is the dragon here? No! Is the dragon here? No! Is the dragon here? No! Wait a minute, some people said yes and no and no and yes and yes and no and no and yes and yes and no. Let's find out who is right and who is wrong. I like stories. You like stories too, right? So maybe we could tell another one. Would somebody like to cho choose a story for me? You'd like to help? Okay. Now put, wait a minute. Put your hands down. Can you say the word stop? That's perfect. Okay, now we'll go through the cards and you say stop. Here we go. Stopping here? All right. Who did you stop on? Who's the story we've chosen? Who's this? It is. It's Princess Belle, that's right. Now, Belle, she doesn't let the world around her affect her outlook on life. She's seen as a little bit different, but she embraces that, and she encourages everybody else to do the same. Now, of course, in the story of Beauty and the Beast. Do you remember the story a little bit? Well, in that story, there was something rather special. What was it? It was... It is a flower, you're right, but it's not any old flower. This was the magical rose, and the magical rose could hold everybody in the castle under a magical spell, should the last petal fall before the beast falls in love. You remember the story, I know you do. Now, of course, Belle taught us all the value of beauty within. Now, of course, maybe we could discover the magic of the rose here today and bring some more magic to Hong Kong Disneyland. Watch. But it's magic, fear not my friends. One rose, like this. That's one, that's two, that's three. Just like that. It's one of my favorite stories, is Beauty and the Beast. I like this one. You like that story too, don't you? Well, you know what, I like you people. So maybe, just maybe, we can tell one last story. Shall we tell one last story? Yeah, all right. Someone say stop. Yeah. Hey, very good. Hello. Hello. Now, do you know which princess this is? Jasmine. It's Jasmine. Very good. Now, Jasmine, she wants more from life than to live behind palace walls. She isn't afraid to stand up to anybody, no matter who she is up against. Now, I wonder, do you know the story of Aladdin? You must have heard of Aladdin, yes? Aladdin, you see, he goes to the cave of wonders. And inside the cave, he finds a magic lamp. And when Rub produces a genie that grants him three wishes. But today, I don't think we will need a genie because we can do some magic of our very own. Because I too, I went to the cave of wonders. Would you like to see what I found? Yes? You would? I will show you. You see, I found this. Well, I didn't exactly find this. What I found was magic. Now, who here do you believe in magic? You do? You see, magic is all around us if you look closely. Magic, if you look closely enough, is everywhere. All you have to do is believe. I wonder, do you believe in magic? There might be some over here. Or maybe over here as well. Let me see, do you believe in magic? Or what is your name? Correct. Can you help me? Can you hold out your hand like this? Hold out your hand like this. Grip it like this. And throw it in the air and say, I believe in magic. I see you do believe in magic. Give her a big round of applause. But as I said, magic can appear almost anywhere if you just believe. Thank you. Okay, are you having a good day so far, yes? Yes, it's a great day to be in Disney. So, I think it means we can tell some more stories. Now, I need your help to choose which story we tell, okay? So can you say stop? 
Hey, very good. Now, when I go through the cards like this, all you need to do is to say stop. And when you say stop, that is the story we will tell, okay? Okay, okay are you ready? Yes. Hello. All you need to do, can you say stop? Yeah. Hey, very good. Hello. Now, Hello. which princess is this? Do you know? Okay, okay. Rapunzel. Who is it? Hey, there we go. It's Rapunzel. Now, Rapunzel, she has a strong sense of curiosity. You see, she isn't afraid to step outside of her comfort zone and take on the unknown for the sake of experiencing her dreams. Now, I wonder, do you know what is special about Rapunzel? She has very, 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 very long hair. A bit like this. Now, her hair is very magical. A bit like this. Her hair is very magical, you see. Do you know why it's magical? Because it has the power to make people look young again, to restore youth. Wouldn't that be nice? Now, as her hair is a bit magical, maybe we can perform a little bit of magic, put some hair, and ha, this. Can you see? It's a solid steel ring, like this. Now, let's see if we can trap it on the rope like Rapunzel is trapped inside her castle. Now, do you know who traps inside a castle? The evil step, the queen. Do you know her name? What's her name? Her name is Mother Gothel. Can you say, ooh? <laughs> Very good. Now, all she needed to get out was a little bit of magic, like this. Hey, there we go. We got there in here. Now, to put it back on, all we need to do is throw. One, two, three. Hey. Hey, there we go. Now, to get it off, the easiest way is with a pair of scissors, like this. <laughs> How many pieces of rope do we have? How many? Two, very good. We have long one and short one like this. So if, ah, no, this one needs to be like this. So we make this one a bit longer like this. Ah, you know what, we make them the same length like this. All we need to do is blow. Hello, Snow White. Ha, there we go, two pieces of rope the same length. Now to put them back together, all we need to do is blow. Can you do this? Ha, there we go. Hey, hey, there we got there in the end. Now when the magic's done and the day ends, all you need to do is put the ends in your pockets like this. And you snap your fingers and up comes one. Up comes two. And where's the middle? Oh, yeah, it's back where it's supposed to be. Thank you. Hey, there we go. You having a good day so far? Hey, it's a good morning. It's nice and sunny. Summer is here. Okay, I think we can tell another story. Maybe let me see. Who can help me this time? Okay, can you say stop again? Stop. Very good. Now, who is this princess? Merida. Who is it? Merida. It's Merida. Of course it is. Now, Merida, she believes she's able to change her fate without compromising her values or integrity. She's brave. She's self-assured and strong. Now, do you know the story of Merida? Do you know the story of Merida? No. Okay, I will tell you. You see, Merida's father, his name was King Fergus. And King Fergus, he held a tournament to find a suitor for Merida so that she could tie the knot, so she could get married. But you see, that is not what Merida wanted. No, she said, I'll be shooting for my own hand. And so, just like that, she did. Now, Merida, she had three little brothers. Did you know this? No? Okay, I will tell you. She had three brothers. Their names were Harris, Hamish, and Hubert. This is Harris. This long one is Hamish. And this short one is called Hubert. One day, they went into the kitchen to find some cake. But they didn't find the chocolate cake, no. They found a magic cake. You see what happened when they took a bite? A magical transformation occurred like this. It's okay, you can clap, don't be shy. You see, all of the brothers, they turned into bears. Harris, Hamish, and 
Cuba. And it wasn't until Merida could mend the board and break the spell that all of the brothers turned back to the way they were. Thank you! Hey, we got there in the end! Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid it is the end of the show. Everyone say, ah. Hey, you sound so sad. Okay, we'll do one more, okay? Is that good? One more, okay. I need someone else to help me then. So who's it going to be? Rapunzel, would you like to help? What is your name? Rapunzel, good. <laughs> now, can you choose a card for me? Here we go. You say stop whenever you like. <laughs> Too late. All right, we'll try again. Can you say stop? Are you ready? Here we go. Stop. Stopping here. All right, who do we stop on? Oh, who is this one? Does anybody know the name of this princess? Who is it? Hey, you're absolutely right. It's Moana. Well, Moana is determined to be true to herself. She's not afraid to speak her mind, no matter who she's up against. She tries to be a good leader for her people to proudly follow. She's daring, she's tenacious, and she's brave. And don't forget, adventurous. And in her story, she travels across the sea to find Maui, and together defeat Teka, and return the heart of Tefiti. You remember that, yes? Yeah, of course. I like that story. La, 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 di, la, la. Now we're going to do a little bit of magic here today, but we might need something. Let me see what I have. Uh, oh yeah. Ah! It's a one of these. Now let's see what is inside, shall we? Aha! Now can you see that? This, my dear friends, is the heart of Tafiti. Now of course today, just like Moana, we're going to try to return the heart of Tafiti. Now Moana could not do that magic without the help of Maui. Yes. You remember Maui, remember? Great big guy, big muscles like me. Now together, today we're going to try, try to return the heart of Tafiti. Now let's see if we can do this. Now all you gotta do is watch carefully. Are you ready? It's quite fast, so you have to watch. One heart of Tafiti, a little bit of Maui magic in one, two, three. Where is it? It's over here. But you just weren't watching, you see. Now here how it works. Maybe, just maybe, we can do it together. Can you help me? Yeah? Alright. Now we take one sail, the sail of Moana. All I gotta do is make a little pouch, just something like this. Now I know everybody here knows the word Mali Mali home, right? So wait for it. Now wait a minute, we're probably just inside. Okay, we do one, two, three, and everybody says Mali Mali home. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Mali Mali home. And hopefully, with just a little bit of magic, the heart of Tafiti is gone. You see? Nowhere to be seen, but where has it gone, I hear you ask. Perhaps it has returned, just like we said we were going to do. Just across here. Shall we take a look? Remember I took it out at the beginning? Let's see. We return it? Wow, we did! We returned the heart of Tafiti back where we found it. Well, that's magic. Thank you! Alright! Now, ladies and gentlemen, have you had a good time? Well, I hope you continue to have a good time, but for now, I have to go. Everybody say, oh. But it's okay, I'll be back later. But for now, put your hands up like this. Put your hands down like this. Put them out in front of you. Wave them like this. And say goodbye. Bye-bye, have a magical day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for helping. Yes, sir.